A tracking dry weather out there today. Yesterday at this time, we had some buildup towards our northwest. Not seeing that now. All the buildup, all the storminess has pushed behind us to the east of Jackson. Now trekking through central, north central Wyoming. As we can zoom out, you can see all that moisture. Pretty active day over a good chunk of Wyoming. But from Jackson all the way west, pretty nice out there as an area of high pressure builds in. And that high pressure will heat us up a little bit tomorrow. Temperatures will jump up about 10 to 15 degrees depending on location. So it won't be quite as mild as it is right now. And right now in Pocatello, we have 80 degrees, certainly a mild one at Idle Falls at 77. Even Salt Lake City's cooled off compared to where they were just a day or two ago. They're at 85. Butte, Montana's tried to warm up. They've had some cool weather lately. 70. We're at 79 in Billings. 80 in uh, Salmon. And things are heating up a little bit over in Lewiston. A little warmer than yesterday at this time with a current temperature of 88. So tonight's forecast mostly clear. Low temperatures back down in the 40s in the upper plain. 45 in Idle Falls. A Pocatello will stay out of the 40s, at least in town. Last night, we dropped down to about 49. Tonight, 52. So not quite as chilly, but cool enough to leave those windows cracked open, allow the cool air to settle in in the morning. Mostly clear for the Central Mountains. Stanley, yeah, slightly milder, a little farther from the freezing mark than what we had last night with a low of 38. We got a partly cloudy sky for the upper highlands in western Wyoming but not expecting any showers nor thunderstorms. 38 in Yellowstone, at least we're staying above freezing, right? At least there, Island Park will dip down in the mid-40s. We got the mid-40s in Downey with a mostly clear sky and right at 40 in Montpelier, 51 for low temperature in Malad City. We'll tack on 40 degrees to that for tomorrow afternoon. And we're looking at a high of 91. So we're all going to warm up a little bit. Downey will hit 90. Lava will hit 90. We'll be in the mid-80s in Soda Springs, the mid-80s in Montpelier. Tad bit warmer than this afternoon. Partly sunny sky returns to the upper highlands in western Wyoming. High temperatures lower 70s to the mid-80s. Dubois at 84 for the central mountains. Maybe a few more clouds in the sky later in the day. Highs warming up just a tiny bit. 88 in Chalice. That looks like we'll see the 80s too in Lenore. 88 will be the high in Rexburg. That's warmer than today. And we got 90s. They're back. We're not quite done yet. Pocatello will top out at 92. The wind will pick up in the afternoon. Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast. It gets even windier on Sunday. Definitely a bad hair day, but it won't be quite as warm. We're back down to the 80s. We'll see 90s though again next week. Thursday and Friday will be in the lower 90s. Now for Idaho Falls. We're 90 tomorrow, but then not quite so warm on Sunday with a lot of wind around. And we cool off a bit more on Monday with a temperature of 78 in the afternoon. Lows will dip down to the lower 40s. For the Teton area, we're dry all weekend and will be especially windy on Sunday where temperatures will try to nose down with a few uh, nights in the 30s for lows for the Central Mountains. Dry for the next seven days. Not quite as warm on Sunday and even cooler on Monday with lows in the 40s and 50s.